Today I have one goal in mind and that is to bring with me my Pentax 67 up here in American Fork Canyon and capture a shot of Mount Timpanogos. Let's get on the road, cross our fingers, hope that we get that one good shot. If we don't, hey, that's what failure is for. We learn from it, we find another location and we get out there and do it again another day. So enjoy. Why not stop and get a nice shot of this river with the XT21T? Uh, here's the photo. Okay, so I just grabbed a shot of that there in the background with the 55 millimeter F4. I think it'll look nice, so we'll see. Well, I think I got it. This is Mount Timpanogos. Uh, I captured a shot with the Pentax 67. Uh, I captured two shots actually, one with the 105 millimeter 2.4 and the other with the 200 millimeter F4. You see a little bit of rays shooting through over the top of the hillside there and coming up and hitting the side of the mountain. So hopefully it turns out well. I just got done shooting this peak. I'm not sure what the name of it is actually. I just drove up here and saw the sun look great on it and uh, grabbed a quick shot with the 200 millimeter. Um, prior, I tried using the 105 millimeter, but there was just so much negative space with just this water, nothing interesting going on. So um, throwing on the 200 millimeter allowed me to zoom right up into that mountain and just frame it really nice. American Fork Canyon is a beautiful canyon. So if you're ever in Utah, come up here and visit it. Another one of my favorite accessories with the Pentax 67 is the waist level viewfinder. This is great for just allowing you to compose the shot that you're looking for. So it's really handy um, if you're struggling to find that composition. And uh, it almost kind of lets you step back away from the viewfinder and kind of see what the print or the digital scan would look like. So it's really nice. One of my favorite things about the Pentax is that you can find so many different versions of the lenses and accessories. My favorite lens, the one that I use the most by far, is the 105 millimeter 2.4. And again, back to the accessories, it's so easy just to pop this off and place on the original metered viewfinder. However, keep in mind, uh, as soon as you replace anything uh, up top that has to do with the, me the metered viewfinder, you have to dismount the lens and remount it again in order for the meter to work. So keep that in mind if you uh, suddenly discover that your meter's not taking a reading. But um, yeah, just a little thing to remember. Yeah, so that is the Pentax 67. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So it's kind of my personal goal to start documenting the behind the scenes and showing you what I see and kind of make a little bit of a vlog out of things. So alongside that, I really love to discuss gear and talk about the lenses I prefer to use for certain shots, why I choose to expose a certain way or what I choose to expose off of in the backgrounds. Yeah, little things like that, things that I've kind of picked up over the years. Hopefully they can help anybody who's looking into getting into a similar system. So thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it so much until next time you guys enjoy and we'll see you in the next one